Okay, this is not a very pretty one. However, it's still possible. What do we need to do? Okay, we'll do it together. First step, um, Kai. Sure. Good. And what did you get? Yeah, now just 94 minus 86. Ooh, close, but not quite. Somebody want to help? Um, Carson? Eight. Eight? Agree or disagree? Agree. Okay, so we have the difference, because that's what we need to do to set up. So it's the difference of really these two numbers that are given to me in the question. Difference of two numbers. Thank you. I found the difference of the two numbers, 94 minus 86, and what belongs on the bottom? Because it's the original, yeah? Original number is always your denominator. So original was 94. Uh, see, it's not real pretty. Um, I don't even know if I want to simplify first. It may not even be worth simplifying. So, Catherine, I'm going to set this up, and I'm going to ask you for the first answer, 8 divided by 94. Now, at this point, remember that the top number goes inside. You want to be the first inside, first inside, okay? Also, if you're getting an answer that is a whole number, then you're doing something wrong, because this, my friends, is a fraction. Fraction meaning a number smaller than one, okay? And this is not improper. If it were improper, then yes, we would be getting a whole number. So, I cannot have 94 go into 8, so I add a 0 and a decimal. 94 into 80? Catherine, how many times? 94 into 80? 0 again. So I add another 0. 94 into 800? I told you this wasn't going to be pretty. But it cannot go in 10 times because that would be 900. About 8? Okay, let's look. We'll pull to the side and we'll work it out. 94 times 8. And you should be working this out with me unless it's already written down on your paper. 8 times 4? 32. Thank you. 8 times 9? 72. 72 plus 3? I think that's it. So that's 8 times 752. Subtract. You should be working this out. If you're sitting somewhere that you cannot see the screen, you should probably turn your body. 10 minus 2. Thank you. 9 minus 5. 48. And 9, I'm sorry, 8 minus, well, that's an 8. That's a 7. Sorry. Okay, good. I'm not wrong. Okay, what do I do now? Good. Add a 0, bring it down. 94 into 480. I'm going to say maybe half the amount. Mm -hmm. So maybe 94 times 4. Uh, maybe it's 5 times, but let's try it. 6 times you got? Okay, let's try it. 6 times 4. Thank you. 9 times 6. 54 plus 2. Good. Okay, too many, right? I think so too. Let's try four. 94 times four. Four times four? 16. Nine times four? Plus one? 376 plus another 94 would be... Oof. Is it close? Oh, so then it equals five, right? Oh, what a mess. Times five, that's 20. 9 times 4, I'm sorry, uh, 9 times 5, 45 plus 2, all right, that's closer, that's better, 8 point, or 5 up here, 470, subtract, no, the question is, do I have to keep going? No. Why not? Because you have two digits. Perfect. I have enough to where I can figure this out as a percent. My answer is 0 0.085. Move my decimal over twice, that equals 8.5%. It can? So where did I make my mistake? Okay, but 
right here, though, where did I make a mistake? 6 times 4 is 24, right? 9 times 6? It is 54 plus 2. It just doesn't, it just doesn't do it. No, not 580. 480. Yeah. Okay, so again, I'm almost done. This is 8.5% what? Increase or decrease? Decrease. Thank you.